Minecraft 1.14 extended the accessibility to NVT data and states and makes it easier to work with data trees. Object D tops this even more, allowing you to insert dart maps and arrays with the powerful data widget. The data widget itself allows you to insert NBT data into a block or an entity. So the first argument is the target. Like said, this can be an entity or a location for a block. And then you can set the NBT data that you want to insert into that entity or block. And this just takes a map in. This is pretty similar to the JSON you are used to from Minecraft, but you can also format that to get a better view over your data. All values here can also be replaced with variables, so you can also generate NBT data in here. All the subcommands are also available as named constructors. So we could take data.merge, and this would pretty much do the exact same as the normal data widget, but this has also the additional property of string NBT. You can insert a string of NBT here to allow values like 1b or 90f when you do need these data types. Data.get also has a scale value. You could use this data.get in combination with a scoreboard and scale the data up to match the integer of the scoreboard. More, more about that later in the video. Data.modify constructor is a bit different because you have many options here. Like any data widget, this requires an entity or block as well as the path. Then you have the special modify value here and this accepts a data modify. This has a few modis. The simplest is just set. So we set this custom path here to any value we insert here. This could be a string, a number, a dart map or a dart list. So we can take a look in our program here and we can say data.modify and with the data modify we have these few options here that just sets this path to a new value. This merge merges the map to a new map and then you can also append and prepend to a list. Additionally, you have also the option to insert a value at a specific index. So this value here for any of these data modify types can be very different and you can also insert entities and locations again in here. So if I were to use entity.all here, I also have to use the from path property to tell the widget from which part of the entity's NBT data I want to extract NBT data and copy it over to my path. And if I generate this, the result should be similar to this. To copy a NBT data just to another, there's also a custom widget for that, data.copy. And here you just say the target again, and also the target path. So where to insert new NBT data. And then you say from, this can also be a location or an entity, and also from path to take the data from. In the end, this would be the same result as using data modify, but a bit shorter. Then you can also convert data to a score. That means you just define a score. More likely would be that you define this score somewhere in a variable. And then you have the method set to data. And here you must insert data.get to get the value of the data field you specify down here. With this, you can easily save the data in a scoreboard and make some calculations. Of course, it is also reversible. That means you can just use data.fromScore. Again, specify the target and the target path. And then you can say score and insert a score here. This would take the value out of the score and paste it into the path. And here you can also again use the scale value optionally and also the data type. Remember that NBT data is in certain types. For example, the rotation is a float value and Boolean values are of the type byte. You can also modify the NBT data of an entity by using the store result method on an entity, a boss bar or a location. And the store result method just takes in a command and also a NBT path. And this would simply store the result of the command into the custom NBT path. Here you can also optionally use the scale value again. 
And you can also say use success true. And this would not take the result of the command, but if the command did run or did not. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. And also head over to the official documentation at stevatos.com slash objectd.